be ready 5 seconds what you read in the newspapers was actually our pledge being translated into action in terms of the united nations framework on climate change this is the language which is followed similarly the other language that is followed is emissions intensity which we have again increased from 33% to 45% so our progress in renewable energy and energy transition is something to be proud of i am proud of it and every indian can be proud of it because we have done something which other major economies have not done and despite the fact that our per capita emissions are the lowest in the world why did we do it it is because we believe in it it is not only the government but i believe that every indian believes in the environment we are the only society which worships nature trees water and sun the giver of energy we believe in energy conservation and the environment that is why we are doing this this set of amendments has been brought before you this will take that forward and the world is changing every country has realized that it is necessary to take action otherwise global warming will damage our environment irreversibly therefore every country is taking steps let us say that we have not introduced this bill you know what is going to happen the european union has already decided to levy a carbon tax on the import of steel products which are not green if we don't convert our industry our industry will not be competitive it is not able to sell in the foreign market that is why the world is changing they are going to put a carbon tax on every product that we try to export if we don't make those green products the future is going to be green products the second is of course the fact that this is our golden opportunity to change from being a net importer of energy to being a net exporter of energy we have all the advantages we are one of the largest established renewable energy capacities in the world we have trained manpower we have the land we have the sun so we can emerge as the global supplier of green hydrogen and green ammonia and that is going to be the future 
different European countries and developed economies have already started tying up green hydrogen, green ammonia. We are missing the bus. We cannot afford to miss the bus this time. We missed the bus when the industrial revolution took place. This time we will not miss the bus. We shall emerge as exporters of green hydrogen and green ammonia. I am happy that many of our industries have come up with a policy to facilitate production of green hydrogen and green ammonia. I am happy that many industries have gone abroad and tied up for the export of green hydrogen and green ammonia from our countries to those countries in need like Japan, the European Union, etc. That is what our objective is. Our objective is twofold. Our objective is that we shall green our industry. That is for the environment and that is also to remove our dependence on imported sources. We import 9.1 million tons of urea. Why? We don't produce natural gas. We also import grey ammonia. We import natural gas. Thereafter, we make ammonia and fertilizers from that. We will do away with our dependence on imports and we shall make green ammonia here from the sun and our solar and wind energy. Similarly, in petrol, refining or wherever feedstock we use, we are going to shift from imported feedstock to indigenous feedstock which we get from renewable energy. This is the way in which we are going to be world leaders. This is the future and we shall emerge as world leaders. These amendments would facilitate that. That is why we have put an enabling provision in the amendment that we will prescribe the replacement of imported fossil fuel sources by renewable sources or non-fossil fuel sources made in India. That is why we have provided for the carbon market. Now, questions have been raised about the carbon market. We already have some species of carbon markets. Our industry is making sure that it becomes efficient. We have already started putting limits for energy efficiency. We put limits on specific energy consumption under the Energy Conservation Act. If any industry achieves a higher efficiency than the limit we have set, we give them an energy saving certificate which they can sell to other industries that also have a target but which have not managed to meet the energy efficiency target. So, they have to buy this 
or pay a penalty. So, we already have a species of carbon market.